Hi everybody, we're gonna talk about the cost of Cristeca. Cristeca is the wonder drug for gout. And we're gonna talk about how to get into the Cristeca treatments and the pros and cons of it. So here we go. So just to make sure, I talked about it in my previous video, but Cristeca is not a drug that you can automatically get into. It is something that it takes a few requirements, one of which takes years and years and years of modulating your medications. So keep that in mind. If you just got diagnosed with gout, this is not a drug that you're going to get into right off the bat because literally you have to have some other requirements other than having gout for years and years. The second requirement is having TOFI. <laughs> you have to have at least one or more TOFI deposits in your body. In TOFI, it looks anything like this, you know, like examples are like in my hands. Um, another example is like going up and down. Like this is a big TOFI. TOFI, you know, I have them all over my body. <laughs> But you have to have TOFI deposits because that's the main goal of Cristeca is to not only stop the production of uric acid and get your uric acid levels down to zero, but also it's to solidify those TOFI deposits and have them, you know, come out of your body. So the thing about methotrexate along with Cristeca, that was a game changer. So I was a part of the uh, methotrexate slash Cristeca national trial. I was introduced in January 2019, ended in January 2020, and I spent a few months doing blood work for the trial as well. Um, it lasted in my body for about three to six months after, you know, the trial ended and my uric acid levels were successfully always at a zero for about six months after the trial. And then it was really up to me after that. <laughs> um, the FDA actually approved um, a methotrexate with Cristeca in 2022. So that was a game changer. Back then, though, at the start of the trial, there were reports that Cristeca, and this is where we're going to get into the cost, um, Cristeca, um, each bag <laughs> that had the drip um, cost anywhere from 25000 to 50000 per bag. That's right. That's right. Luckily, with the FDA approving methotrexate along with Cristeca and everything kind of being like final down, finalized down to like what it works, um, still is freaking expensive. So I'm going to go over that real quick, but I'm going to talk to you guys about what, how long you actually have to take it. So Cristeca is an IV infusion and before, there was also one other way that you could take it, but I think they narrowed it down to just IV infusion. Um, you have to go into a hospital and be administered the drug through a drip. Um, they set you up, you know, with like, hook you up with needles <laughs> and it goes in with a drip. Um, a nurse has to uh, make sure that everything's fine. You have to be underneath their supervision. Um, a doctor has to approve everything. They also have to do blood work. Um, all this kind of stuff. So it's not just one single take of Cristeca. Um, you have to do it multiple times. Um, Cristeca is administered into two different bouts. Uh, I don't believe that insurance will take more than 12 months um, because the effective, effective rate should be for 12 months. And after that, you know, it's just, I think it's overkill after 12 months. But you can take it in six months or you can take it in 12 months. Your um, timeline is going to be twice, maybe three times, once every two weeks. Um, so that usually is twice per month. So if you're taking it for six months, it's usually around 12 to 13 times. If you're taking it for 24 month, uh, 12 months, <laughs> usually taking it for 12, uh, 24 to 26 times, 27 times sometimes. But, um, but yeah, so you're going to be taking it quite a bit, but, um, that's the timeline that you should, you know, set aside, but also keep in mind that you also probably have to buy the methotrexate um, and you have to buy folic acid. Folic acid is super cheap. Um, you could buy that over at Walgreens for only a few dollars for like 100 pills, super cheap. But you have to buy also like an Allegra or a Benadryl so that way you can make sure that when you go into IV infusions on that day that you're not going to go through an anaphylactic shock. Okay, so I was like a little bit dramatic on the anaphylactic shock, but it is one of the side effects. So like I said, I'm going to talk about side effects and the pros and cons in another video. Um, so you're looking at, 
you know, six months to 12 months, but also you have to take certain drugs on top of that. And on top of that, you have to be in a hospital environment. You can't take it at home. So you add all that up. I'm just going to give you a quick money breakdown of just the Cristeca. Everything else on top of it, you know, you might as well just ask your doctor, ask your insurance company, you know, what insurance provider exactly what is going to be the well-rounded cost on top of it. But this is without insurance. So here we are. If you are taking Cristeca for six months, expect it to be around $312,000 without insurance. If you are taking it for 12 months, expect it to be $624,000 without insurance. Expensive, right? So I just gave you some really expensive numbers. But if you really feel like Cristeca could be the next plan in your gout journey, then don't worry about it because doctors will be your best advocates for getting you this treatment. So obviously, first, you want to go into your rheumatologist, bring this up, talk about everything about Cristeca. They're going to be your advocate. They're going to let you know exactly what that drug is, how it can affect your body specifically, and if it might be the next move. If it is, then they'll go ahead and try to approve it with your insurance. Because it is a drug that you have to take inside the hospital, it's not a drug that you can pick up over at Walgreens or you know, Kroger or whatever, you pretty much have to go through your doctor trying to get it approved with your insurance. Chances are your insurance might say no. And if they don't, I mean, if they do say no, don't worry about it. Your doctor can do an appeal and do um, like, they can do a written story about your diagnosis, all this kind of good stuff. And if that is still not approved by your insurance, don't lose faith. What you and your doctor's office can do is you guys can also look into programs that are provided through the Christeca website. If you go to christeca.com, I'll leave that website down below. There are different programs that you can go through, different insurances that they'll take. They'll look at the Affordable Health Care Act. There's also other programs where there you can actually go through the drug company itself and it can cost as little as zero. Um, I haven't gone through any of that because I was on the national trial. I got everything for free and they kind of paid me <laughs> for me being like a, a guinea pig, if you will. But um, uh, this is a scenario that if you are not approved through your insurance, don't worry. There are so many different avenues that you can take. Last resort is that there's always like uh, if I Googled Christeca for cheap, um, there's like coupons. But I don't know the... If they're effective or not, they might be a scam. I don't know. I haven't gone through that route. I don't need to go through that route. But um, I would try to work with your doctor's office, um, you know, like right off the bat. Try to do that. So after you're done with your bout of Cristeca, that would take six months to 12 months. Your next thing that you're going to be doing is you're just going to fight like hell to maintain, you know, either a zero to less than five uh, milligram per deciliter uh, for your gas account. I mean, it really it is it really is up to you. Cristeca is going to last in your body for about three to six months after you're done. You're going to feel like you're on top of the moon. You can do anything you want, but you have to remember, do not resort to eating seafood, uh, red meats, um, drinking beer and alcohol. Um, don't resort to eating really fancy foods <laughs> that are high in purines. You want to, this is like your new this is going to be a new lifestyle change. You are signing up for a lifestyle change. And if you're like me, I took everything for granted. And now I have Tofi back on my arms and my uric acid it level isn't as bad, but I still get mini to medium gout attacks um, even after, um, you know, two, two and a half years after the trial. So um, don't be like me where you take it for granted. <laughs> Did Christeca change my life? It has. It has absolutely. I used to live in gout pain all the time. All the freaking time. Now, the only time that I get gout attacks is when, you know, I... There's only a couple times uh, when I decide to eat fast food. <laughs> I'm a big guy. But um, when I eat fast food every once in a while, but also um, when there's a seasonal change, like right now, if you see, notice it right now, I live in South Carolina. Um, it is now raining. <laughs> it 
It is about 50, 60 degrees outside. Um, tomorrow's going to be about 85. So my body is now like, you know, like achy and not really, you know, as great. But my uric acid levels are still below five. And I am so grateful for that. And that's only because Cristeca was able to clear out all of the uric acid, um, most of the uric acid in my body for a cool year and a half. And that has been unbelievably um, a game changer in my life. So I, I would absolutely do it in a heartbeat if I was given the chance to do Cristeca again. I don't think I would need to because I don't have, um, I have the TOFI, but I don't have um, horrible debilitating gout like how I did before. Remember also, once you take this, the chance of you being approved for Cristeca again is very, very, very slim. So do not take it for granted. Do everything that your doctor says for you to do. Um, and also keep up your gout management after you know, you're done with your um, IV infusions. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we mainly talked about the cost of Cristeca. Um, and also how you can get into it um, and the prereqs for getting into the actual drug itself. Um, if you get into it, congratulations. If you don't, keep fighting. I know if there's a will, there's a way. You will get into it and your doctor and your the doctor's office team is going to be your best advocate. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Go ahead and like, subscribe, follow me. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Christeca. And I'm also going to talk about a lot about gout itself. Follow and comment. Um, tell me if you're actually interested in Christeca, and if you have taken Christeca, let me know about your journey. Tell me exactly what happened with you. So thank you guys so much. You have a great day, and bye.